Hello and welcome back. So, if we look at what we've done so far, we have learnt how to create an UMA, we've learnt how to alter their default wardrobe, so we can add their clothing that appears when they're generated. Um, we've also looked at altering their colours for um, their particular race or their hair colour, things like that. So what you've probably done by now is looked at every single piece of content that comes with UMA, created as many outfits as you possibly can, and you're probably wanting some more. So what I'd like to look at in this session is some of the off-the-shelf clothing that is available, and obviously our ultimate goal is to learn how to create this kind of thing ourselves. But it really is worth looking out there on the store and elsewhere because there's some wonderful artists who've created some really marvellous looking clothing. So let's have a little look at that. So the first place and the most obvious place to look is the asset store. Um, and would you believe it, Uma has its own section. So if we head over to 3D models and into characters, you'll notice there is an Uma avatars section in there. And if we click on there, you'll find there's it actually said 81 different assets all for Uma lots and lots of clothing um, there are alternative faces there are alternative Uma characters so entire new body geometries um, there's hair models that we've got there's a rather nice free one there from obviously a very handsome developer um, but by far the most prolific uh, creator that's in this particular area of the store is a guy called Will B. Uh, very nice guy, has some very, very nice art. Um, I suggest you check out his website as well. You can see he, he has some replacement character models, he's got some freebies in there, um, and again, this is really high quality stuff. So check his work out, very, very nice. Um, what you will also find, um, there are quite a few people who started creating uh, content and it's beginning to appear in here since Uma 2.5 was released so um, the next guy I would say you want to have a look out for is O3N Games so um, again this guy has created his own uh, base models so new Uma characters he's also got a few bits of clothing in there uh, along with some nice shoes which uh, are generally lacking in Uma he also creates his own IK system, which works directly with Uma as well. So O3N, definitely worth checking out. Another really nice guy. Very good. Um, and finally, one that isn't on the asset store um, is another site called Arteria 3D. And if we look there, um, again, on his store, you'll notice he has an Uma section. Again, I'll leave all these links down in the description. And if we open that up, and hit Uma. What you should see here, um, these recent ones that uh, Arteri have done are ultra high poly, so they're real next gen, super quality models. Um, you're not going to have a lot of these on screen at once unless you've got some super power rig, but uh, they are absolutely beautiful. Lots and lots of interchangeable parts as well, so you can make many many different types of armor from one of these kits um what he's also got is some slightly more standard i say more standard again still beautiful work but these are more low poly so the sort of thing that you'd use in an everyday game uh, again he's quite prolific he's got a lot of art that he's created so well worth checking out again another really nice guy it's funny they're all nice guys aren't they um so <laughs> really really good work um have a look at that as well um, what you will also find while you, you're looking around on there, um, you will find there are other tools in here. Now, I haven't used all of them. Um, DK Uma, in particular, um, I've never really looked at, so a lot of people ask me questions about it. I really don't know what it is. Um, but there are other tools on here, um, which I will have a look at. And I'm going to try and look at this DK Uma and see what this is as well. So we'll have a look at those later on. But for now, um, you can have a look maybe take the plunge, download some free assets, or pick a costume that you like and download it. If you don't want to spend any money and you just want to play with Uma, um, in the next section, uh, we're going to look at importing and using this material. So um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you a free pack of 
rather poorly designed by me clothing, but uh, it's just something to show the theory behind how Uma works. Um, and this will show you how to build costumes out of these packs. Okay, so just a quick video there to get you going. In the next episode, we're going to have a look at importing and using these packs. Okay. And once again, I'd like to say a big thank you to my patrons for making this possible. Uh, if you would like to support me, feel free to click that link at the end of the video. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.